promissory note is a written promise made these are the common points for bills of exchange as well as promissory note in promissory note you will prepare just assume that you are the buyer and the seller buyer will prepare the document convenient means of credit convenient means it is a easy way of credit credit means what loan Hello everyone. I am your other sir, lecturing with us from PU College, the Temple of Excellence. Now, so we are in the session two of your bill of exchange. In the previous session, we understood what do you mean by bill of exchange? What kind of transaction happens in bill of exchange? As I told you, only credit kind of transactions happens in bill of exchange. Now. In bill of exchange, it comes under what negotiable instrument? What is the Act 1881? Under negotiable instrument, we will get three things. One is bill of exchange. We already learned and I already explained about bill of exchange. What is the second thing? Promissory note. Today, in today's session, we will understand what do you mean by promissory note and what is the difference between bills of exchange as well as promissory note. These things we will understand in today's session. Now, first thing, promissory note. Now, give the meaning of promissory note. In this, promissory note is a written promise made. As I told you in the previous session itself, I explained you what is bills of exchange, what is promissory note. Under bills of exchange, Assume that I am the seller, you are the buyer. As a buyer, you told me that I'll pay you money after two months. For that, what I should do being a seller, I'll prepare a document, I'll give it for signature. You will sign and give it me back. So this procedure happens in bills of exchange. But in that bills of exchange, what we say, the seller will order to the buyer that after two months, you pay me 10,000. For that, you should sign. Seller order to the buyer. That is called bill of exchange. What is promissory note? Same procedure, same scenario, same example. I am the seller, you are the buyer. Now, in this, I will not prepare any document. The seller will not prepare any document. Buyer, you will prepare document. You will prepare document, you will sign and give it to me, clear? And you will promise that I'll pay you 10,000 after two months, clear? In promissory note, you will promise that I will pay you so much of money after two months. I will not order, you will only promise. That is called promissory note. In bill of exchange, who will prepare document? Seller, drawer will prepare. In promissory note, who will prepare document? Buyer, the drawee will prepare document. In bills of exchange, it is order to pay. In promissory note, it is promise to pay. Hope you understood. Now, promissory note, it is just for one more question. Remember, everything is not required. We have taken this definition as per Negotiable Instrument Act. 1881. Everything is not required in this. Only I have to remember which act it comes under. Now, promissory note is a written promise made by a debtor to pay to the creditor a certain sum of money after a certain period. That must be only. Clear? Yes, this is done. Next. Any two features in your examination, no need to remember all four. You have to remember only two. In bills of exchange, do you remember which are the points not about promissory note in bills of exchange? Four things I circled. Yes, it must be signed. It must be returned. It must be stamped. And it must be ordered to pay. Similarly, in promissory note, same procedure. It must be stamped. It must be in writing. These are the common points for bills of exchange as well as promissory note. Along with this, unconditional promise to pay. 
in that it was ordered to pay in this it is promised to pay then it must be signed by maker it must be signed by whom maker hope you are clear now name any one party to the promissory note in the bills of fiction we had drawer drawee pay in promissory note we have drawer as well as drawee or pay so these are the persons comes under promissory note next who is a promisor the person who makes or draws the promissory note is called as promisor who prepares the document in promissory note you will prepare just assume that you are the buyer and the seller buyer will prepare the document that's why who is called as promisor you are promising me that you will pay so you are called as promisor now who is promise if you are the promisor i will be what promise simple so promise is a person to whom whose favor the promissory note is drawn clear yes next thing difference between this is also very important you may get one or two marks normally you will not get two mark question from this chapter if you get also the question will be difference between promissory note and bill of exchange already i explained you what are the differences one or two points you have to remember no need to remember the complete box remember any two points which are easy to remember now basis and difference drawer it is a drawn by the creditor it is drawn by the debtor that is the first one order or promise in the bills of exchange it is a order in promissory note it is a promise next acceptance accepted by drawee it does not require any adjustment in promissory note acceptance is not required next parties involved there can be three parties remember it must be drawer drawee pay in this there must be there can be only two parties drawer and pay these are the parties under promissory note remember so which are the points easy to remember one is order to pay promise to pay one point is done yes what will be the second point parties involved in bill of exchange we have three parties and in promissory note we have only two parties so these two points better you remember for your examination other things are not required why because this is not your five marks theory as i told you max to max you may get two marks theory difference between bill of exchange as well as promissory note what you have to do difference between bills of exchange and promissory note are under that you have to prepare a column basis of difference bill of exchange promissory note in that you write point number 1 and point number 2 easy to remember easy to score 2 out of 2 now as i told you in bill of exchange you have a format similarly in promissory note also you have format what will be that format now the stamp as i told you it must be in written it must be signed and it must be stamped similarly the stamping is compulsory along with that signature and to to whom you are giving it is not that it is always harish only you can take is raju ravi whatever you like you can mention one person will be the owner and the person will be the buyer now ashok kumar signed here to harish it is signed harish means what remember he is a seller who is a buyer why it is signed by buyer means for example you are the buyer you will prepare and give it to me means your signature is required my signature is not required clear yes now 3 months after date remember this word is very important this word you will not find in bill of exchange this word you can find only in promissory note mr harish i order a sum of rupees 10000 for value received this is all about your promissory note 
So please take screenshot of this document. Why? Because as I told you, five marks POQ will be there. And a practical oriented question, you may get the format of promissory note, RLs, you may get the format of bill of exchange. Out of two, any one you can expect. Now, the next thing will be advantages of bills of exchange. So, bills of exchange already we discussed. Just remember any two advantages. Convenient means of credit. Convenient means it is an easy way of credit. Credit means what? Loan. For example, you are the buyer, I am the seller. I have sold my goods to you, but you have not yet paid the money. You told that after three months, you will pay me money. For the safer said, what I can do? I can prepare a document. I can take signature of you. That is a convenient way of credit. And the second one, conclusive proof of credit. So there is an agreement between me and you. Clear? Now, you told that after three months you pay me money. For that, is there any proof? No. If I prepare a document and get your signature, then yes, then I will get a proof. So, that is one of the major advantage of bill of exchange. Hope you are clear. Give the meaning of maturity of bill. This is not required actually. You will not get question on this. Maturity of bill, as you know, for example, 1st January, I have given you document. Three months time, when will be the maturity? Yes, Jan, Feb, March. April 1st will be the maturity. As I told you, three days will be added. So, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. So, your maturity date will be 4th of April. Hope you are clear. Now, so this is all about the theory part for your bill of exchange as well as promissory note. As I told you, you may get only one question for one marks. At a maximum extent, you may get one question for two marks. Other than that, you cannot expect any question for six or five marks theory. Five marks you will get one POQ that will be, you have to frame a chart. You have to frame a performer of bill of exchange or performer of promissory note. If you are preparing bill of exchange means remember order to pay. If you are preparing promissory note means remember it must be promised to pay. Clear? Yes. This is all about your today's session. In the next session, we will go with problems. I'll end this session with the saying that learn concept and earn marks.